Ladies and gents, this is Zizda Wiz coming at you from PowerLordsReturn.com with the review of the new book, The Art of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Now, this first thing to notice about this is that it is a big, thick, heavy book. Um, compiled by uh, a bunch of different people. Um, primarily uh, Tim and Steve Seeley, but they also collaborated with James Etock and uh, the Power and Honor Foundation folks, the ones who put out the um, first book, uh, first thick uh, comprehensive book on uh, the toy design and showed us a lot of art. So this is basically the ultimate compilation of all these folks' efforts. Um, Tim, Tim and Steve Seeley are brothers that have worked on the Masters of the Universe comic books and other um, comic book projects. And they obviously brought a lot of love to the project. There was a foreword by Alan Oppenheimer. And what I really like about this is it's, it's got a few memorandum in there that are interesting for historical purposes because it talks about um, getting the process going at Mattel, some little behind the scenes stuff. But what I really love about it is the concept art. Uh, and the original concepts that they were toying with before they went with what we all know and love as He-Man. Um, here's Rudy Obrero's first sculpt of Vicor, which was um, the original name for He-Man, he had black hair. Uh, as you can see, he, had, he, he did a great job with it. And it's just a treat to get to see all this concept art and behind the scenes stuff, memos. And what I really like about it, there's Demo Man, uh, a figure that was made in the classics, um, but not in the original. So um, all these nice tidbits. Uh, what, what they've done is they've taken and interviewed some of the major players in the, the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe world and here you have some more concept art and what I really like about it is that it isn't just a wall of text you know you'll get an interview from one of the major players but uh, you'll just have these little captions that are put together and they've got great information and great insight and this book is uh, worth it, just, just to look at the art, because that's the main thing. It's the art of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. You've got concepts that haven't been used. You've got the toys that were produced, the toys that weren't produced. You've got card back art expanded and shown in its full glory. There's just some great artists that worked on He-Man. Um, Earl Norum, Rudy Obrero. And I also like the failed concepts. Uh, that you can see failed for a reason. This is Brainor, and I kind of wish that we had gotten a figure of him because he really looks awesome. This guy, uh, not so much. Uh, what was he called? He was called uh, Blow Or or something. <laughs> I I don't know, but his action figure uh, just basically blew air out of its mouth. So strange. Here's a wizard. That's kind of funny because. Uh, his action figure is to open his cape, and he looks like a flasher who happens to be invisible, which sort of defeats the purpose. But it's just fun to see, you know, the failed attempts and the ideas percolating. Um, the role of the packaging art was obviously huge. Um, card back art goes into the comics. I'm not going to go through every single page, obviously, but you can just see rich full color uh, printing in this. Um, they blew up some of the mini comics so you can take a look at what went on there. They interviewed the writers of the mini comics. Um, and it's just a really great look at here, here you have a look at the, the filmation cartoon and the animation it just goes all the way through. It's got some neat little treats here. It's got an animation cell that you can pull out and stick into different environments so you can see how they reuse the backgrounds 
for the um, animation to save time. So, yeah, there's more than after you go through the filmation stuff. This is a this is probably let's see some of my favorite stuff in the whole book. It's all Earl Norum stuff. Um, this one here is amazing. He's a he man's in front of St Snake Mountain, um, and he's he's fighting all the snake men. What kid couldn't look at that and get excited about?